Spatial reasoning is a fundamental ability in our daily life. From telling how big is a gap to driving, we do spatial reasoning all the time. While humans effortlessly determine spatial relationships between objects, even the best multi-model large language models struggle with it. For example, if we ask a multi-model large language model the question, is object A on the left or right hand side of object B? Even some of the best multi-model large language models struggles by having a success rate of only nearly 50% as shown in the table here, implying they are just doing random guessing. There are many potential explanations of why multi-model large language models fail at spatial reasoning. For example, a candidate is the architecture of the neural network or the training procedure of it. Another candidate is a lack of spatial information in the data. And our paper focused on the second one. We hypothesized that the lack of spatial data is a reason that these multi-model large language models fail at spatial reasoning. If we take a look at what data people use to portray these multi-model large language models, it's usually data crawled from the internet in terms of image and caption pairs. The captions describe what contains the image. In comparison, spatial reasoning favors data that contains relationship between objects, which are rarely contained in the captions. For example, they never contain things like object A is on the left of object B, not to mention that a lot of fine-grained relationship data like distances are not contained in this. In our paper, Spatial VOM, we asked the question that if we scale up synthetic data about spatial relationships, can we get a vision language model that knows spatial relationships? Furthermore, we want the data that requires 3D and quantitative estimation as well, in addition to simpler qualitative questions like left or right, bigger or smaller. If so, can we use such a model to solve complex spatial reasoning tasks, such as multi-step spatial chain of thought or applications like robotics, etc. The key to spatial VOM is large-scale synthetic data. We first crawl a data set of images from the internet before filtering them with clip embeddings. By doing such filtering, we can remove images that are not rich in spatial relationships, such as product photos of single objects. We then feed these images into existing expert models to extract information like segmentation, metric depths, and object-centric captions. After that, we can build an object-centric point cloud by lifting 2D pixels into 3D with steps. If we can detect the flat surfaces like floor or tabletop, we can also canonicalize the z-axis of the point cloud. Finally, with a 3D point cloud and description caption for each object, we can synthesize questions and answers with Q&A templates generated by large language models. As a result, we can synthesize a huge data set with 3D quantitative and qualitative questions and answers. By qualitative, I mean questions that can be answered in a binary form, left or right, in front of, or at the back of. By quantitative estimation, I mean questions that must be answered with a quantitative estimation of distance, such as 1 meter to the left or 20 centimeter gap. In total, we are able to synthesize 2 billion VQA examples on 10 million real-world images. We then modify the training dataset for a multi-model large language model, POM-E, with our synthesized data. Everything else remains the same. As a result, our model benefits from the synthetic data and is able to achieve state-of-the-art performance on both binary predicate benchmark and quantitative estimation for spatial reasoning. In addition, we can leverage a pre-trained large language model to help us perform multi-step chain of thought spatial reasoning. For example, in this case, we ask the multi-model model whether the three cocans form an equilateral triangle with some tolerance, and the model is able to use chain of thought to give us an answer. Furthermore, spatial VOM can provide quantitative information that is essential to robotics. For example, we can ask the model to annotate reward for a robot arm to approach and pick up objects. With the knowledge of distances, spatial VOM can annotate dense reward that are more useful for efficient policy learning.